So attributes, you can type in values for them, but you can start doing more interesting things like creating connections between attributes on two completely different objects. So let me show you an example of that. So let me see. Let me go to create, and I'm going to create a locator node. A locator node is just uh, represented in this kind of three-axis line item, and it's basically a node that doesn't do much but uh, determine a position in space. So it's a pretty lightweight node. It sits there, and um, and it has a transform info on it. So with this n locator node, I can start doing some stuff like I want to draw. I want to add a new attribute to it that may drive uh, something on the sphere. So let's do that. So with the locator node selected, let me go to um, modify, add attribute. So all these attributes on the locator pre-exist as part of the node itself. So we got the translate, rotate, and scale. Let's say I want to add a new attribute that is named height. Um, I want to leave the attribute keyable, and I can determine the type of this attribute as being a vector, an integer, a string, float, boolean, or uh, enumeration. So let me leave it float for now, and let's say that I want the minimum value to be 0, and the maximum to be 10, and by default it's going to be 0. So I'll say OK. And you'll see what just happened is I have a new attribute on here on the locator1 node, which is called height, and it can go from 0 to 10. And if I, with that selected, I do a control A to bring up my attribute editor. Um, if I click on the locator1 tab and go down to extra attributes, you'll see the height, which I just added. And there's a slider there that will go from the minimum to the maximum value. So this doesn't do anything right now because it's an empty attribute that's not connected to everything. It's just changing the number inside Maya. So let me close that. So let's say I want to use that attribute to drive the height of this sphere for some weird reason. Um, so to do that, what I can do is with this locator selected, I will go to window. Sorry. Window uh, connection, general editors, connection editor. So I get this uh, interface, this dialog up, which shows my locator on the left. And let's say I want to drive the sphere. So I'll select the sphere and say reload right. So now I can select an attribute that I want to drive the sphere um, height on the right. So let me go down here and select the attribute that I just did. Now when I selected that, some of these things got grayed out because this was a float attribute. It can't control some of the attributes that are on the sphere. Um, so let me use height, um, open up the translate, and use that to drive translate y, and hit close. Now you see what happened here is that this uh, the translate y of the sphere just turned to yellow in my channel box. So now whatever uh, value is on my height is actually driving the sphere. And you'll notice that when I select on the locator, because it's connected and driving the sphere, the sphere turns pink. So I can actually select my height in the channel box, the attribute itself, and middle mouse drag, and it goes from 0 to 10, and it's driving the height of the sphere. And alternatively, I can do Control A, bring up my attribute editor and uh, drive the sphere with my locator. So if I uh, select my locator and bring up my hypergraph connections now, you'll see that the locator it now has a connection to the sphere. If I hover my mouse over it, it's saying that the locator1.height attribute 
is driving the psphere one dot translate y attribute.